Welcome to Freedom Through Faith. Shalom Aleichem. There is this uh, wonderful concept of the world to come or for the coming up redemption. And actually, by the way, there is a difference between those two things and it's maybe important to mention because many times as different topics as well, there is certain concepts that are being used for different um, concepts. So, um, certain names that the one concept is being called and actually they're being used to represent two different topics like the Garden of Eden and Heaven. In Hebrew we call both of them Gan Eden, Garden of Eden, but in one of the aspects we're using it as the world to come, heaven, that is the reward for the righteous ones to enjoy. And um, in the first main aspect we're talking about Gan Eden as the ancient garden that the Creator planted on earth that is uh, hidden and uh, concealed from our eyes. So on that topic of uh, nullification, bitul, in the world to come or in the coming up redemption, there are two aspects to that bitul, to this olam abba. We are talking about certain freedom that a soul is experiencing when it's finishing its mission on earth then it goes to the world to come after 120 years of life in this world the person is being judged for these actions being punished or cleansed for his sins for his crimes all the husks that have been attached to him are being cleansed and purified in a certain place that is called hell Gehenom, Jehennem and uh, and then he is able, worthy to pass on to the stage of being rewarded for his good actions and deeds for his mitzvot that he kept and uh, that takes place in the world to come so that is his Olam Haba the world to come and um, when we say in Hebrew Olam Haba it can be sound as the next world Olam Haba the next world and as well as the world to come Olam Haba the world that is coming okay so it's like a person that walks on a on a boat that like a, a cruise and is happy and like joyful and lives in a certain dream, illusion of fake reality of stability, walking to restaurants, walking to the pool, to his room, to, the, to sleep, to whatever, without paying attention that the boat is always sailing um, to its goal. So the world to come is coming. It's like you're sailing and, and it's coming no matter what. So that's one aspect. But as well, we have the aspect of um, the same Olam Haba, next world, means a next stage in our world for our lifetime. And that will take place in the time of redemption. That in the time of redemption, the world will prosper in such a great way that it will be so, so, so amazing that all rules of nature as we know them today that today they are all being um, controlled by heaven's court that there is a very hidden mysterious complex and in the same time very simple and based on the Torah rules system of rewards and punishments in heaven's court and everything that happens today you drop a glass you got one hundred dollar 
uh, reward you your car turned on in the morning or did not everything your wife smiled to you your husband was 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 cold everything that happens in this world is taking place as an outcome of the conclusion it's called psak the decision of heaven's court according to our actions each and every one of us is obligated to certain things in life there is a list of expectations from him heavens are aware to the judges over there righteous and pure are aware to the person's abilities powers and all details are coming in trial together certain moments we are being checked on them there are many verses that are explaining the times of judgments there are main days <clears throat> like the first day of the year Rosh Hashanah Yom Kippur and as well in certain actions the person is being judged and as well every one hour of the 24 hours you have 24 different meetings on heaven's court every one hour there is a court discussion on any case on any matter and as well lirga'im tivchanenu momentarily Hashem is checking us so it's a very complex system with different levels and different um, aspects of executions of the judgments and trials and that is the aspect of judgments that the world is running by but after the time of redemption the world will shift to a new way of supervision and only kindness and grace will lead the decisions making of so-called heaven's court it won't be used anymore as a court because it won't be for judgments matters but that aspect of heaven's um, control system will keep on functioning functioning just in a much more beautiful and great way that will be based only but only on kindness and mercy and um, and free love to all those ones that been defined as worthy for the complete redemption and great salvation and we should all enjoy this wonderful rewarding aspect that will take place by the way for 1000 years of growth and development with no death with no sorrow with no pain only greatness and great pleasure. May we all see that with our healthy eyes, surrounded and hugged and loved by all our loved ones. Amen. RDMC with the Muna project, all the nations with me. Close your eyes, just breathe, see the truth. Don't chase the fake world, don't buy the fake news. Be yourself, your own true self. Don't let no one take our natural wealth. See the good, no fear, no despair. Cherish who that you are and share. Source of power from an endless spring, light up clear and clear. In yourself, yes. They can kick you down to the ground Hold yourself up till you are put up your crown King of the creator, holy soul inside Focus on the spiritual and you shall